don't get out of here, I'll crown you with this book. Oh, but please, I want to get a job on the radio, and you can help me. See, I'm telling you, this is no employment agency. This is a newspaper office, and it's my job to write about the Jolsons. Jolson? <laughs> Jolson does it on one knee. I do them on both. Get this. Mammy, my loving mammy, get a load of this falsetto. Each night I go to bed, I lay awake and shed too many tears. Your memory is bringing me to. I told you before that I'm not interested in getting anybody any sort of a job. All I care about is writing radio news. Oh, but listen, when you write about a prize fight, where do you go? To a prize fight, of course. Where do you think? But why not go to the radio station? Not a bad idea. Come on, let's go. Let's go inside. Can't go in there, Sid. Why not? Why, the Boswell sits to the rehearsal there. Down on the lid with the waddle along. Waddle all around while singing a song. No, Louisiana won't make them all tall. There you can't go wrong. No, waddle along, honey, waddle along. One step, two step, keep going on. Kicking dust, you'll never rust. You'll be happy, so let's get started. Hold every bound where your troubles will drown. Grab your pot, swing him around, waddle, waddle, oh, it's a Louisiana waddle for me. What are you girls oh. trying to do? We're rehearsing. Rehearsing? Mm -hmm. I can't understand the great Boswell sisters that are known for their great harmony singing off-key. Well, what's the matter with it? Nothing. You're just a little sharp. You're just a little off-key. A little off-key, huh? I'll tell you, I suggest I taking your a... pardon. Just who are you? Never heard of me? No. Never heard of Abe Lyman? Not the fellow with that orchestra. That's me. And you're talking about bad harmony. Say, listen, if you want to hear some real bad harmony, why don't you listen to your own orchestra once in a while? Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. It's a good idea, too. Waddle along, honey, waddle along. One step, two step, keep going on. Kicking does, you'll never rust. You'll be happy, so let's get started. Oh, let me buy where your troubles are down, where all the donkeys don't lose the ground. Waddle, 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 just a moment, the colonel, with his long white beard flowing in the wind, will be up to speak to you in person. Not, however, until after his long, nimble fingers roamed over the keyboard to the extent of six and seven, eight flats or something. Are you ready for the tremendous finale, colonel? And then come right up here to the microphone, will you? The ending. <laughs> Hurt the finger? Well, Colonel, you look fine tonight. What's the trouble with you, sort of? Oh, I, I'm sorry for stuff. Sorry for stuff. I yes. See. What are you sorry for tonight, especially? Oh, I'm sorry for mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Yes, sir. What is there about mashed potatoes to be sorry for, Colonel? Well, would you like to sit around in a dish and have people pour hot gravy all over you and be full of lumps and everything? And mashed, too, huh? Yes, sir. It's awful. Are you through being sorry now? Yeah, I'm all through being all sorry. Right. Now. I have a, Ring the bell uh, when we're oh, through yes, being excuse. sorry. That's it. There goes the V.I. Yes, if you'll recall your radio, my friend, you'll probably remember several years ago on, uh, well, a couple of occasions when someone of rare courage and ability has broadcast from the ocean's bed. Colonel, uh, are you ready to take the plunge? Oh, yeah. I see. It's time for me to dive into the ocean. I get it. Yes, here I go. All right, listen for the splash, folks. 
Nice splashing, <laughs> Colonel. There I he goes. I broke the ocean there. there he, you're supposed to be in the water. Shut up. There he goes, this intrepid explorer in the depths of the ocean. Down, down, down. I can just see his legs now as with his super powerful strokes he swims steadily downward. What a man, what a man. Faster, faster he goes. And now he's wrestling with a jellyfish. He killed a jellyfish with one fell swoop of those mighty fi uh, hands. One more second or two and I think the Colonel will be at the bottom of the ocean. I guess I can get in touch with him now. You know, he can only hold his breath for 10 minutes and uh, I'll have to fire the questions at him pretty fast. Say, Colonel, oh, Colonel, are you at the bottom yet? Repeat that last. You don't say on page three. Well, I thought those stories I'd heard about them were just the result of someone's imagination. Oh, you're coming up? All right, well, hurry up before you lose all your breath. Here he comes up, ladies and gentlemen. Why, I don't know, because he just told me an astounding story about a half a... You can put that down now. About a half a dozen beautiful mermaids, which he actually saw when he was down at the bottom of the sea. Wait a moment. I think he's almost the surface now. Yes, here he comes. Here, I'll help you climb up, or climb up Colonel, old man. Careful, I have a hold of you, boy. I'll let you catch your breath. Mammy. Yeah, if you don't mind, I wish you'd repeat what you told me about the mermaids, Colonel. <laughs> I can't get my breath pretty good, but I can't get my well, breath. take your time, take your time, and we can get dressed and go back to the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, in case there might have been a few of you who didn't understand what I said to Bud when I was down on the floor of the ocean, I simply want to say that I am pleased to advise you that that is, well, I, I'm going right back there and talk to the mermaids. Well, here, here, Colonel, come back here. Don't go down there. There's a ducky splash all <laughs> over the floor. And there I'm terribly sorry for what's just happened, ladies and gentlemen, but the colonel dived into the ocean again. I'm afraid I'll have to continue the program alone. Wait a minute, he's trying to communicate with me. Repeat that, colonel, will you please? Oh, boy, I'll say I will. Well, goodbye, folks. I'm going down with him. That's me going down. <laughs> all right, that ends that. Now we'll ring the little... <laughs> Are those boys funny? That's right, Sid. Say, listen, let's go over to Kate Smith's apartment now. Great, she's my favorite. All right, fine. Oh, boy, Nat Bruce Wolf and Jack Miller. Tell me what he's for Kate Smith. <laughs> easy, Nat. You'll live longer. Listen, even if she is Kate Smith, she can't keep me waiting here too hard. Me, the great Bruce Love? I'll tell you, boy. Well, Jack Miller isn't doing so bad this season, but you're the leader. Why don't you tell her? Tell her. You wait till she gets here. I'll tell her plenty. You mark my words. You hear what I've got to say, boy. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long. Don't mention it, Kate. It was perfectly all right. I was out horseback riding. Are you reducing? No, but the horse is. Uh-oh. What's on the program for tonight, Kate? Well, let's see. We'll start with when the moon comes over the mountain, and then... Oh, aren't you ever going to get that moon over the mountain? Why, no. If I ever get the moon over the mountain, I'll have nothing else to sing, and then I'll be out of a job. Well, let's get going. We've got to rehearse. You've got a new number to do tonight at the casino. Come okay, on. Okay, Jack, let's go. Here's how to make things so
Jack. Oh, it's 8.20. 8.20? We got a broadcast. Come on, 8.30. Come on, kids. 